Hi, I'm Carrie. I'm the owner of Carrie Fit and the inventor of the ABC method for core stability and help in diastasis recti. I also have an instructor training system on that topic. And if you want to dig more into diastasis recti and core stability, head over to carryfit.com or theabcmethod.com to get more information. So the B in ABC is about breathing. And today I want to talk about the fact that belly breathing and diaphragmatic breathing are not the same thing. And I want to tell you that because I thought it was until I was struck with this core instability issue and I had to completely relearn how to breathe. Me, a musician, a saxophone player, someone who had studied breath work, I had to relearn how to breathe in order to stabilize my core. It's two different things. They have two different functions and for whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to need to practice one, the other, or both. And breathwork practice is very powerful for whatever it is that you're working on, whether it is in music, whether it is in core stability, or whether it is in mental and emotional well-being. Okay, so let's go to belly breathing, which you have learned probably if you are a musician or if you've taken a yoga and mindfulness practice. Belly breathing is allowing the breath to go all the way down here and allow the belly to expand. So the diaphragm is moving down, but it's not expanding outward. So it's not diaphragmatic. It's just pushing the diaphragm down, pushing the pelvic floor down and letting the belly go and expand. So let's practice from a seated position how to do belly breath. Put both hands on your lower abdomen, shoulders are down and back, get your best possible posture, sitting your ribs over your hips, breathe in to expand your belly, allowing the pelvic floor to just fall into the earth. And then use your muscles down here to press in and up. Breathe into your hands, expanding your belly. Exhale and pull up from the floor to expel the air. Let's try it on your back. So roll onto your back here. Put your lower back down on the floor so you can feel expansion. Put your hands right here on your belly, ribs are down. Breathe into your hands. Exhale, pull all the way up into your lungs. Breathe in to expand into your hands. And exhale. Okay, so if you're working on a mindfulness practice and they have you doing that practice, that's one thing. It will not stabilize your core muscles. It will help with some things. It will not help with diastasis recti. It will help with um, slowing your breath down. It will not help with core stability and strength. Okay, so two different things. Now, let's talk about diaphragmatic breathing. Your diaphragm lives here right underneath your rib cage, all under here, okay? It's sort of a little soft tissue that lives right there, and it's an involuntary muscle. When it expands outward, it allows, again, the pelvic floor to drop down, but you do not have to let go of or expand your belly just because you're expanding your diaphragm the navel being drawn up and in and keeping the core muscles engaged while expanding the diaphragm is a special practice that helps with core stability. That is a Pilates practice. Um, that is for core strength and also any kind of fitness, any kind of work that you're doing to get stronger. Diaphragmatic breathing is what's going to help you get stronger all the way through your body. All right, so let's practice that. Instead of down here, your hands are now up here. Wrap your thumbs around to the lowest ribs that you can find in your back. Wrap your fingertips around the front of your ribs. Draw your shoulders down and back, shoulder blades towards your pockets. Zip up from the floor to your sternum and do not stop zipping up. So it's like a feeling of your navel drawing up towards your heart, a feeling of these muscles engaging inward and upward on the inhale and on the exhale. And your inhale, instead of being down here, is actually going to be back here. That's why I always say breathe into your thumbs. Ready? Breathe into your thumbs. 
and then feel everything come in towards the center of your body and up as you exhale. That is strengthening, right? That is a whole different level of strengthening the center of the body. You probably felt tissue a little deeper than the belly breathing because now we're talking transverse abdominis, which is deep core muscle tissue. Let's try it again. Shoulders are down and back, back of the head nice and tall, zip up from the floor to your sternum, breathe into your thumbs. Exhale, feel everything knit together, drawing the belly button up and in, feeling everything zip up, nice and tall, not collapsing into anything. Good, okay, let's try it on your back. Roll onto your back, okay? And now your breath is gonna go into these lowest ribs, into the mat, lower back is sort of resting there on the floor. Imagine that you drew up something one size too tight all the way up the front body and make sure that your ribs are also attached. So we don't want the ribs like sticking up out towards the ceiling. We want them down and flat. And now you can just sort of rest your arms down. Or if you're not sure, put one hand right here and make sure that belly doesn't move. Breathe into your actual lungs all the way into your back and then exhale and feel all the muscles knit together across the center of the body. Breathe in while staying engaged in your lower and middle abdominals and keeping the ribs down. And then exhale, bringing everything together. Now, shoulder blades are also all the way down flat, so we don't wanna do this. Keep the shoulder blade down, everything's in control. Breathing in and exhaling deeply feeling those inner workings happen. That might turn something new on for you today, or you might be like, not quite there, I don't feel anything there yet. Both of those responses are normal. And I will say that for me, from someone who had studied music for a long time and belly breath for a long time, this switch over to diaphragmatic breathing was something I had to focus on daily for quite a while before I got it. And then, all of my practices got better. The ABC method, that B is so essential and central to the practice, and the alignment, the breathing, the core engagement can't live separately. They have to live together. It changes how your core works. It changes how your fitness works. It changes how you feel. I would love to hear your response to this. Let me know your experience in your breathwork practices or Hello, this is brand new to me. I've never done breath work in my life. I'd love to hear from you anyway. You can email me at carrie at carriefit.com. Have a wonderful day.